Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm here to bring you another cute pattern. Um, I have made these adorable little almost no so seals. Almost. I'm so close. It's so close to being no so. It's just this little bump right here that I have sewn on just because I like the way that it looks. But these are completely, you know, no so. This is no so, except for like tying off. But these are super cute super easy you can make them in any kind of yarn so these are using like a super bulky or size 5 yarn but if you want to size down you can do like a keychain size with a size 4 yarn this is what you'll get so i used a size 4 yarn and a 3.0 millimeter hook for this guy and then i used a um sweet snuggles light which i think is a size 5 yarn and a 6.0 millimeter hook for this guy so this pattern is actually very similar to the loaf cat pattern um in terms of how i do the little feet but i promise this time i actually zoomed in so, <laughs> so you'll be able to get a, a good picture of what what is actually happening rather than being so zoomed out so um i am super excited to show you this this is a beginner pattern um however it doesn't teach you the stitches but i truly believe that you can do this um the stitch method that i used is yarn under yarn under so instead of putting the yarn over the hook i put it underneath the hook i do have a video on that if you want to check that out um but yeah i hope you guys like this pattern i also ended up making one of these guys which is like a mama version and a baby version but i'm not sure if you guys want this as a pattern or if you just are happy with the little baby version so if you do want this um leave a comment let me know and uh, maybe i can add this as a different pattern or a different tutorial <laughs> um, but anyways let's get into the materials and let's get started so here are all the materials that we're gonna need i am using sweet snuggles light in i'm pretty sure it's just called white yeah just white so a super bulky size six yarn um it's kind of like a velvety kind of yarn but i i've been like really liking using uh this one uh, there's also sweet snuggles without the light that's a little bit bigger, but this one, I don't know. I've just I've just been into this one lately. Um, so if you decide to go up a yarn size or down yarn size, just make sure uh, to remember that your piece is gonna end up bigger or smaller, but it it'll turn out the same. It's just gonna be bigger or smaller. Um, so that's the yarn. We are also gonna be using a 6.0 millimeter hook. Um, so that's the hook that we're gonna be using for the entire thing today. I have a stitch marker, a little um, yarn needle. Um, the safety eyes that I'm using is 10 millimeter safety eyes. You can use with the backings or without the backings. Um, I've been kind of just gluing them in lately. Don't know what that's about, but I've been liking the gluing. And then I have a little bit of scrap black yarn. This is like, I think it's a DK weight yarn. It's probably from Paintbox. And then I have some scissors and some polyester fiber fill stuffing. Um, I think we'll probably get away with, with this amount. So I think about this much. We'll see though. I'll put this off to the side and make sure that... You know, I remind myself to only use this. Um, and then you can use some pins if you want, uh, but there's not too much to pin in, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now we've got all of our materials. Let's get started with our crocheting. Okay, so let's start with the little snout piece. Um, I'm gonna leave like a little bit of a tail, like hardly any, and I'm gonna make a slip knot. And next, I'm going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. So there's my four chains. And I'm going to work back down the top side of this chain. Starting in the second chain from hook, I am going to single crochet. And then I am going to increase. And then in the last stitch, I am going to single crochet. So now I have pretty much done that top row, but now we're gonna work back down the other side of the row. And I'm gonna go like this, 
and pull this little little tail down to get that out of the way and try and identify three stitches at the bottom here so you can see like they're almost like little waves and so for these little waves we are just going to slip stitch in each of the little waves so one two and ooh, sometimes that last one gets tight three so it's kind of turned a little bit into like i don't know what do, what do we want to call it like a moon shape like a half moon I, I, what's that? i don't know what to call that shape and then we're gonna take our scissors and i'm gonna leave i like to leave a decent amount of yarn for sewing in even though it's probably too much but I'd rather too much than too little and then i've just pulled out that loop and what I'm going to do is I am going to do what's called an invisible bind off or an invisible finish into that first, like this little, so our, our yarn tails here, the first stitch that we made would have been this, like the single crochet. So you can see these two little, little loopies. That would be pretty much if we were to continue crocheting, that's where we go into next. I'm just going to go like this and put it through under both of those loops. And then I'm going to find my slip stitch, which feels almost impossible to find, but pretty much where the yarn, like we, our last stitch that we made. I'm going to find the front loop and the back loop and only go through the back loop. If this is too complicated, just don't even worry about it. Just skip this, skip this invisible finish. But I just find that it kind of neatens up this edge here. And now we have, I guess it's an oval. <laughs> I feel kind of silly now, now not calling it an oval or like a jelly bean kind of shape, whatever. You know what? It's fine. So this we are going to leave off to the side until we are ready to sew it in and make the face. Now we are going to make our little starting area. So for fluffy yarn, I usually recommend the slip knot and then chain two method. Um, if you are not using fluffy yarn, I would recommend the magic circle method, but with this fluffy yarn, it just turns out better when you have the chain two method. <laughs> um, and then once we've done the chain two, we are going to single crochet eight in the second chain from the hook. So it's kind of hard to see with the fluffy yarn, but this would be my first chain and this is my second chain. So I'm going to single crochet eight. Whoa, I am switching up my... I've been messing around with my single crochets lately. So I usually do yarn under, yarn under. So I'm gonna try going back to that. But if you see me swapping yarn over and yarn under, just do do the thing that makes you feel comfortable. I prefer yarn under, yarn under, but I've really been messing around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there is my eight. I'm gonna take my stitch marker and place it right there. Okay, so that was just our starting circle. So I usually don't count that as a round. So now we're gonna get into round one and round one is just going to be increasing into every single stitch. So we have eight stitches. We're gonna put two so single crochets into each stitch to make an increase. And then we should be left with 16 stitches at the end. So let's get started just into this first single crochet here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and two more into the last stitch here. Okay, so now if you want to count, we should have 16 stitches all the way around. And that was round one. Round two, we're going to do something similar. 
and we're gonna do like a repeat situation so we are going to do a combo of single crochet and then increase and we're gonna do that combo of two stitches all the way around or eight times total so we have 16 now we're gonna be adding eight stitches and we'll have 24 stitches at the end of the round so we'll go single crochet and then in the next stitch over you're going to increase so combination of filling up two stitches here and now we have like three stitches left over that we've done so far so in the next stitch over we're going to single crochet and then the next stitch over we're going to increase so that combination of single crochet and then increase we are repeating eight times and that should bring us all the way back to our stitch marker because we're doing combinations of eight right now so because we started with eight do you get it you get it? you get it we usually do like the combination i'm not sure i'm not sure the audience that i'm talking to right now but we usually do the combinations of the number that we start with um usually just to make it easy and the math's easy and then it all works out it's great great time so single crochet increase single crochet and the last one is increase. So we'll have 24 stitches now. Okay, so I'm just going to put back on my stitch marker here and we are going to move on to round three, four, and five. So rounds three, four, and five are just going to be single crochet around and it's gonna be 24 stitches around. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do single crochet into every single stitch. Um, so I'm gonna meet you back after I've finished up round five. So round three, four, and five are going to be single crochet 24 stitches or all the way around. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've done my three rounds of single crochet. I'm gonna show you how you can identify that or try to because it's white fluffy yarn but I know that my last stitch is somewhere around here and I also know that the stitches kind of drift towards the right at least for me because I am right-handed crochet so my stitches are gonna kind of fall towards the left here because I'm going up towards the right so I'm gonna kind of work my way down and find like an unusual stitch so this one looks like one little bump this one looks like one little bump but this one is weird because it's like it's like a bunch of bumps so that is my last increase and then i went one two three rounds so these all look the same meaning i've done three rounds of straight single crochet so here is where we're gonna mix it up a little bit well not not a lot but don't worry you got this i'm gonna do like a little bobble so in this first stitch i'm going to yarn over go into the stitch pick up a loop so there's three loops yarn over and pull through only two now i'm going to do that again yarn over into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so now i have three on my hook i'm going to do it again yarn over into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so now i have four loops on my hook now all i'm gonna do is yarn over and pull through all of them so now i have this little spot right here that is going to essentially be where i'm going to put my next round does that make sense because it's kind of like i just tied it up with that that little slip stitch and right there is gonna be like my next well, we'll we'll get around to it don't don't panic don't panic it's okay okay so that is one stitch i know i've done bobbles in the past with like the um, loaf cat pattern and people get confused because we get lost in the sauce here but this is one one stitch even though we did a bunch of loops one stitch okay so we still are going to end up with 24 stitches because this is one stitch now we're going to find the next stitch over so i like to kind of pull a little bit and see where that one went into and then i'm going to find the next stitch over and we are going to single crochet 
So now you can see it's kind of puffing out a little bit. So now in the next five stitches, so six stitches total, but one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches, we're just single crocheting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six stitches of single crochet all the way down. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did here, like this four, this four loop bobble. So yarn over first, into the next stitch over, yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you've got three now, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, now we've got four, which is perfect, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all, okay? So now we're gonna go and finish our last bit of single crochet, we're gonna single crochet back to our stitch marker here. Okay, so we're just gonna go along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and this last stitch will be sixteen. There we go. So now you have something like this. Okay, so that was round six and we have 24 stitches. Remember this bobble still counts as one stitch. And we are gonna move on to round seven, eight, and nine. And seven, eight, and nine are going to be straight single crochet again. So 24 stitches all the way around. I am gonna show you that this next stitch is just gonna go into this like little loopy up here, okay? Don't overthink it. Just kind of pull that bobble away a little bit and go into the stitch and single crochet. Next one, you kind of just pull your, pull your bobble the other way and into the stitch like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna work my way over. Okay, so I'm over here and it's like, where in the world are these stitches? I like to just kind of put, put my finger, like, like just push, push the bobble out and try and find it. Usually I can like pull the bobble down and just go in to something. As long as you're going into like one stitch, you're usually, f oh, that's a slip stitch. Oh my God. Oh, so we're doing single crochets, remember. Okay, so there we go. There's a single crochet there, and then there's a single crochet there. Okay, and we're just gonna work our way back all the way back to our stitch marker. Okay, so this is round seven complete, 24 single crochets all the way around. And now for round eight and nine, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, single crochet all the way around. So I will meet you back at the end. So I finished up rounds uh, eight and nine, so we can count them from essentially where our bobble starts to overlap. So um, right here is our bobble, and then we went over, like over top of the bobble with a round one two three rounds or seven eight nine right round seven round eight round nine oops round seven round eight round nine um are now complete and so now i'm just gonna kind of let that loose and we're gonna start working on the face so obviously these are feet or arms and i am gonna try and figure out where i want to place my snout and my eyes so sometimes this can get a little bit tricky and it sometimes have like you kind of just go with go with what you feel but i think i like to start oops okay i like to start kind of with placing the eyes 
in an area that like kind of makes sense and then I like to move them around a little bit and and see if like moving them helps but I want the eyes to be as close to the snout as possible so I'm just gonna take some time and move these pieces I like it there. I think I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave the eyes there and I'm going to take my little piece of black yarn. And we are just going to go, we're going to find like the rounded side here. And I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try and find that increase stitch, which should be right in the middle. And I'm going to go up through one side of that increase stitch and then down just towards the, the left of it. So then I have a little, little nose and then I'm just gonna tie it up. And I'm not gonna tie too tight because then it'll just kind of disappear into nothing. So I'm just gonna do a loose tie and that seems okay. And we are going to work on sewing this in without disturbing the eyes too much. So I'm going to try and placing it right in the middle. Move that off to the side. And then I'm going to try and like not disturb, like I don't want to pull too far. I just want to leave it like nice and even but like not pulling the stitches. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go up kind of right by the eye. And then instead of picking up both, both loops of this nose piece, I'm only gonna take the loop that's closest to the rest of the body. So it would technically be the, the back stitch only. Or back loop only, I lost an eye. Oh. And then we're going to kind of go down the same spot. And then up just next door. And then I'm going to pick up the f that little back loop only again of the next stitch. And then I'm going to try not to pull my piece too far and just go down and then back loop only. We're going to come out and then pick up that back loop. Start moving my way. Oh, okay. Well, I think I lost an eye, but okay. All right. <laughs> And we're gonna move over. Picking up the back loop only. Trying not to like make the, the nose turn too much either. So I'm just constantly like kind of checking. And then I'm going to come out kind of similar area as the eye on the other side and pick up the back loop here and then back down. All right. Okay. All right. Now we've lost another eye. So I'm going to tuck a lot of these threads in. It seems like too much of this black yarn. So I'm just going to trim that and try and tuck these in to give it like this is going to be our makeshift stuffing so just tuck that in and then I don't think I need the eyes for the rest of this part but I'm going to take the back loop here and then I think I have about three stitches left here and instead of taking the back loop only I'm going to take both of them now. So I'm going to go down and then I'm going to come back up and take both loops here. 
and then I'm gonna go back down. And then I'm gonna come back up next door. And then take both loops. And then go back down. Come back up next door. And then take both loops. And then I'm gonna go right back down. Last time. So what I've tried to do is to create a ridge at the top and no ridge at the bottom. And then we'll just try and straighten out this little snoot. Take away some of those bits and bobs. And if we didn't mess around too much, oh, I need to grab my other eye. I found it. So if we didn't mess around too much with the placement, we should be able to just place those back and you can put the backings in now. Um, if you aren't using backings and you're just going to use glue, then just leave it to off to the side now. You can just take them out and then I'm going to glue mine in at the end. But again, if you're using backings, put the backings in now. And I'm going to tie to my starting yarn just that... Um, that uh, end tail from the snoot. Now we are going to put our stitch marker back on if you didn't already and we are going to continue single crocheting and we're going to start decreasing. So we should be on round 10 now and we're going to do a similar pattern just to make it easy. We're going to do like a pattern of decreasing and we are going to start with single crochet six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we are going to invisible decrease. To do that, we are going to pick up the front loops only of the next two stitches. So it looks like that. And then we go yarn over or yarn under, pull up that loop, yarn over, yarn under, pull through both. So this will give us a nice finish and not as allow as much like holes. And then we're gonna do that again. So single crochet six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna do an invisible decrease. So we're gonna pick up the front loops only of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. And then we're gonna do it again. So single crochet six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll be left with two stitches here and we are going to invisible decrease both of those together. So front loops only of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So we had 24 stitches, we subtracted three, leaving us with 21 stitches. Does that make sense? So if you want to give a count, you can count them up now. Okay, so moving on to round 11, we're doing something similar. So we are going to do single crochet five this time. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to invisible decrease. So front loops only for the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. And we're going to repeat the yarn, uh, yarn over, sorry, single crochet five and then invisible decrease. And we're going to do that two more times. So three times total. And then we should have 20, nope, sorry, 18 stitches at the end. So one, two, three, four, five, and then invisible decrease and then again we are going to do five so one oh, did i miss a stitch don't think so no one two three four five and then the last two stitches will be an invisible decrease and we should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, moving on to round 12. We are gonna do, again, something similar, <laughs> except we are going to single crochet four this time. One, two, 
three, oop, pulled up too much, three, four, and then invisible decrease. And we're gonna do that combination two more times. So single crochet, four, one, two, three, four, and then invisible decrease. And then one more time. One, two, three, four, and then invisible decrease. So we should have 15 stitches at the end of this round. Moving on to round 13, we are going to do single crochet three and then invisible decrease. So one, two, three, and then invisible decrease. And again, one, oh, I messed that one up. One, two, three, and then invisible decrease. And again, single crochet, one, two, three, and then invisible decrease. Okay, so I'm gonna take a second here and I'm going to stuff the body. So at the end of this round though, I forgot to mention, we should have 12 stitches. Okay, so I have saved the amount of stuffing <laughs> that I showed at the beginning. And I think we should, that should be enough. I don't know, I don't know. I like to stuff mine quite firmly, but we're not gonna stuff it all the way because we don't wanna get it like into the stitches when, while we're crocheting. So, okay, yeah, we definitely need, we definitely need a lot more. Yeah, we need way more stuffing than that. I lied, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna stuff a little bit extra here. Make sure he's nice and well stuffed so far. And then I'm gonna kind of leave it open here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stuff too far up because then it's just gonna get tangled in, this, in the crocheting. Okay, so moving on, we are going to move on to round 14 and we are going to do single crochet two and then invisible decrease. And we're gonna do that combination three times around total. So single crochet one, single crochet two, and then invisible decrease. And then again, single crochet one, single crochet two, and then invisible decrease. Okay, I'm gonna stuff a little bit more now. So at the end of round 14, you should have nine stitches left. So we are almost out of stitches here. I'm gonna stuff again. Okay, I needed way more stuffing than I thought. I'm so bad with estimating stuffing. Uh, a little bit more for now. So we have one round left, which is round 15. I'm gonna put my hook back on, stitch marker back on, and we are going to single crochet one and then invisible decrease. We're gonna do that pattern three times total. It's getting a little bit tight now, but just be patient and try and pick up those front loops only. So single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, invisible decrease. Three times that pattern. And we should have six stitches at the end here. All right. And now I'm going to almost like finish up stuffing here, trying to stuff all the way to the end. And we're gonna do some like tomfoolery here like I <laughs> I like things to be kind of easy and I like to kind of take shortcuts so in order to prevent any sewing or any additional sewing because I'm trying to make it as minimal sew as possible 
I am going to just make this work. <laughs> and to do that, we're gonna do the flippers in, uh, in kind of a way that maybe people might not like. But we are here, so we're kind of at like the right hand side of our piece. If you are not at the right hand side of your piece, um, try and like work your way back with just single crocheting um, or, you know, or I don't know, take out a stitch, I don't know. Just try and be at the right side of your piece here. But we are going to work on the flippers and we are going to just makeshift it to work. So we are going to do chain three, one, two, three. And then in the second uh, chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. And then in the chain from that, so towards the left again, we're gonna half double crochet. And to do that, we start with a, a yarn over our hook and then into the stitch, yarn over or yarn under, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay? And then we are going to essentially close this with our fingers and I'm gonna go into the next stitch over. So this stitch is already used. I'm gonna go into this stitch and then like if I'm just going like straight down. So if, if I just go like, pew, I would be going through th there and like here. So there should be like a stitch left here, which is totally fine. Um, but we're just gonna kind of go like straight down. And so hold on, let me put this back on. So we are going to single crochet essentially this closed. So it goes into that stitch, into this stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. All right, <laughs> it's kind of cheating, but is it? <laughs> and then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. And then in the next chain over, we are going to half double crochet. So start with the yarn over your hook, into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all of them. All right. So now there should be these two little stitches, like, because we, we kind of like left two stitches of the circle out. So we cinch both these together with a single crochet. And now I'm going to take these last two and I am going to just slip stitch them closed to tie them together. All right. <laughs> I mean, it works. Is it wrong if it works? I mean, if you want to, you know, make flippers on your own, that's totally fine. I just find this way like super easy and it kind of just, I don't know, it just finishes it off. It makes it no sew pretty much. And I'm just going to cut a small tail and pull out that loop. And I've kind of done mine a little bit loose here, but you know, I, I can go back and like tighten this up down here. Or if you're lazy like I am, I'm just going to like sew it into place. So if you find that your, your stitches are like mine right now, that they're like a little bit loose, then just like go sew it down or, or not because it's fluffy yarn and it's super forgiving. But I'm just gonna, you know, kind of just haphazardly pick up some, some yarn <laughs> and sew it into the piece. Listen, I'm all about making things work and making it nice and easy. So I'm going to put a little knot at the end. If you didn't sew it down, just put a little knot wherever you left off. Make it nice and tight. And then down into the piece and out the other side. Now you can take your yarn tail, trim the excess, use that for stuffing another day. And I am gonna go ahead and put my eyes in because I haven't done that yet. Um, and I'm going to glue mine down. So I'm just using like fabric fusion. I don't know, I find, I find this works, but you can use like crazy glue. Um, I'm gonna make a little small bead and put it right where it came out. And then I'm gonna just push these eyes into place. Same thing on the other side. Small bead. 
and then push the eye down. That's literally it. Look at that. It's so easy. It's so quick. Um, I like to kind of pull this out and if you have the little black yarn sticking in the way, just try and cover it up. That's fine. But there you go. Look at him. So cute. So you can see that there's like a little bit of a difference between um, like my left hand and my right hand. It's literally just tension. Like I just was a little bit tighter here. So if you find that you just kind of want like a it shrunk down just a little bit then just tighten up on your tension these are the exact same exact same but I think these guys are super cute now what I have also done is I have done a bigger version of this cutie pie using kind of the same methods except I did some arms I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these arms but if you would like to see this pattern um, and do like a mama seal and a baby seal uh, let me know I think they go cute, cute together and I think they're like a decent size they turned out pretty good I'm pretty proud of myself so if you want to see the mama seal uh, let me know I'm happy to make that one a pattern too so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed your little loaf slash baby seal slash no sew slash minimal sew seals I think they're super cute and they're super quick and easy to work up and you can make them in so many different sizes so um, just for clarity's sake I use six millimeter safety eyes uh, 3.0 millimeter hook and size 4 yarn for this little guy but you can you can do whatever you want it's all personal preference um, but I think these little chubby guys are super cute so if you liked the video if you liked the tutorial please let me know in the comments give the video a like subscribe if you feel like it um, I recently did this thing where I went live on YouTube instead of Twitch which was an adventure so um, hopefully more to come on the live the live streams on YouTube so if you guys would like to tune in for that I usually do it on the weekends um, but you can tune in on the discord I'll let you guys know when I go live on the discord um, but yeah I think that's all I have left to say I hate filming the intros and, and outros so hopefully hopefully I got everything I never make bullet points I'm just so bad at it. So anyways, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. So hopefully this makes up for it and I will see you guys in the next one.